Kevin, on, on your right, Dan Wyke, Los Angeles Times. Steve Kerr just came in and told us that despite being down 3-2 for the first time since you've been on this team, that he's supremely confident that he's seen enough on the court to, to know that you guys will be okay. Are, are, do you think that's a shared opinion within the team? Do you, do you guys see and feel that stuff? And, and where are you guys at kind of you know in this situation? Yeah, we got another game at home, um, game six. Uh, still confident, you know. We, uh, we had some opportunities to win this game, last two games, and we didn't close it out. Uh, but we can learn from it, and, you know, we got another opportunity at home on, on Saturday, um, and we'll be ready to play. Kevin, right here in the middle, more on the same topic. Al Sarasovic with the San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, I don't think this team has been on the brink of elimination since the uh, finals in 2016 before you joined the team. Um, you know, w what's the strategy going into Saturday, and how do you think you can turn things around? Well, our defense was really good. Um, we turned the ball over a lot. We fouled late in the game. I think that was the difference. You know, they made foul shots into the game. And, uh, you know, but uh, our defense has been pretty good the last three games. And uh, but we got to turn that into a W. We got uh, we're facing elimination at home, so looking forward to playing. Kevin, Chris Hanks, ESPN. Kevin, you're we got one field goal over the last two fourth quarters. It seemed like they were going to you in the post a lot. Do you feel like you need to mix it up a little bit? Oh, yeah, they switching a lot when I get in the post now. Um, uh, they not they I, I can feel them. Uh, bringing a guy over. Uh, so I just got to make the right play. Uh, but yeah, probably mix it up a bit, see where I can get different catches and touches because they kind of figuring stuff out for us. So, uh, you know, I just got to you know, be excited for the next game and go out there and play hard as we can. Kevin, Kim Davis from Chalk Talk. Can you talk a little bit more about the defense just on both both teams? It looked like, I mean, you guys obviously had a, not a great shooting night. Is that because of the defense? And have you guys faced this kind of a in your face defense much this season? Yeah, I think we've been playing against a lot of switching defenses all year. Obviously, they got taller and bigger defenders. They like to um, play physical in the paint. Um, but I think we got the same type of team. Like I said, our defensive effort was great tonight. Um, you know, they made 29 field goals, 10 field goals and held them to 37%, uh, you know, 12 assists. You know, so we, uh, they, made, they, made some, they made some plays down the stretch. Anthony Sutter with The Athletic. What did you just think of a few of the offensive possessions late in the game? I mean, I know the Draymond fumble turnover, Cook had a wide open three miss, just some of those plays. Uh, I think some, obviously, they didn't go our way. Um, we had a the last play. At, um, we didn't advance the ball after we got the rebound, so we had to race up. We didn't have any more timeouts left to call another one, so we had to race up, and we was just rushing a bit. We rushed a, we rushed a bit all night. Um, Quinn had a good look at the three-point line, and you know, um, didn't go down, obviously, but, you know, we generated good shots. Uh, Kirk Bowles from the Austin American. Kevin, do you feel like y'all wasted a great opportunity when James Harden, y'all were defending him well and his shot wasn't falling tonight? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I think we had an opportunity to win the game. You know, we know uh, James is one of their premier players, especially uh, on the offensive side of the ball, you know, so. I thought we've been playing hard against them all series, and um, but you know guys like Eric Gordon came in and gave him a big lift. Uh, Kevin, Bodeo uh, Guntui, Kwesi Sports. Um, you, we, we've talked about uh, the defense uh, on uh, how much you guys are hustling, but between the uh, the blood win you, you guys had uh, in Game Three and the last two games, what has changed, basically? On oh, defense. You see, both ends of the floor. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Just two physical teams playing late into the to the shot clock, late into the game, and they we missing some shots, and they uh, they get into the rim, making some tough ones, and get to the free throw line. So it's a matter of who want, who's going to make the you know who's going to keep playing hard defense, and who's going to uh, come down and knock down shots late in the game. So you know they made free throws, they made some you know four or five minutes left in the game, they made some tough shots, but. For the most part, uh, I think our defense has been good. Our offense definitely can be better, obviously. Kevin, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. You've faced some of the greatest players in the sport for over a decade in games like this. How do you measure Chris Paul's competitive fire in a situation like this where his running mate 
is misses all 11 of his shots, and Chris is fighting the shot clock and and trying to get his team back in it. Uh, he made some tough ones tonight. He made a couple deep threes over hands that were tough. He was struggling early on, but he got the three ball going a bit. Uh, but he's been around for so long, so you kind of know that he's going to keep playing.